Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Neha. I make video on tech and my life in the UK. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about important arrays method as a React JS developer you should know. Now, I'm pretty sure when you started your React JS without learning JavaScript, you must have heard about learn JavaScript before doing React JS. A lot of people assume, or not assume, they say that this is a gatekeeping. But I can bet on this, You, if you have started React without JavaScript, you must be going back to learn JavaScript. So yes, you should know JavaScript to master or to understand React JS. If you can, please start with JavaScript. If there are reasons you cannot start with JavaScript, then it's fine, start with React, but you have to come back to JavaScript. So in short, learn JavaScript, invest time there. So in today's video, what I'm gonna teach you is, I'm gonna show you important array methods that will be used in React here, so you should know them. I'm not gonna cover the basic, like what is array, how to create array. I'm just gonna focus on important array methods for React JS developer. So if you are someone who is planning to start with React JS, or, uh, or you are someone who is at the start of your career in React JS, then this video is gonna help you. So let's start. So right now in front of your screen, I have this React.js code. Though I am using React.js code as a base boilerplate, but whatever I'm gonna teach you, it, it is gonna work in JavaScript also. So I have an array name categories. Now the first thing you will be getting is the first task, create a list out of an array. Now you need to understand that array is very crucial in React.js project because it helps us in creating dynamic UI. You will be working with arrays a lot. So the, if you are going to give an interview, I'm pretty sure this is the one interview question you will always get that given an array, create a list. So for this, what we are gonna use, we are gonna use our first method of JavaScript, which is uh, map. Now how you will use it. So for that, I will be creating a function create list this is a fat arrow function first I need to do is return because this is gonna return a new array so this is my array categories I will have this dot map now in map we have value and index and then what it is gonna do it is gonna return us the each so it, it is gonna map over each and every value and it is gonna return us now, because we, we are in React JS, how we can use it? Now, what I can do is because I want to create a list, I can use my, I can return my JSX from here and I can put value. Curly bracket is his React way of uh, uh, getting the dynamic values in your JSX. And we will be using key to have index. Now, what is key? Why it is important? I already made a video on this. Please go and check. Uh, that video it's very important concept in react JS. but going back to map so if you will see what we are doing is we have taken our array we are using map method map method will give us value basically each and every item and a unique index and it is gonna return you a new array here we are returning our JSX now just to see if this is working or not all we need to do is just go to our return statement and I will just call this so if you will go, you can see the list is coming. Woman, kids, man, girl. So this is how you do the mapping. Whenever you are given an array, you want to go to each and every item and you want a new array to be returned or JSX to be returned, you will use map. Now the second one which we are gonna learn is um, updating an array. Updating an array. Again in React JS, this is very, very common. When you start working with React JS, you will also learn about immutability, which means that, uh, like in states, we follow immutability, that your previous state should not be changed. Whenever you want to update anything, you should always return a new array or an object. So basically, immutability. So for that, what we use? In JavaScript, we have spread operator. So let's see how we will how we can use it. So we have categories array. So now I, what I want is, I want uh, a new, we are gonna do few different things. First, I want to add a new value here. So how I can do it. 
so what I'm gonna do is const new category array dot 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 categories and what is the new value for so basically it is pet let's assume now console dot log new category so let's go to console and you will see array 5 is coming uh, array with 5 uh, elements and you have pet here now the beauty here is this is your new category basically new array if we will check the old categories array it will be same so in react chairs we as i told you we follow follow immutability which means since we are not gonna change the old we are just gonna update and return a new array so this is what is happening here this is what we are doing now I assume now i want to merge both arrays so how i can do it so let's say merged categories again we are gonna use spread operator so what i'm gonna use is this dot 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 categories and again dot 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 new categories and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a console dot log of this or you can use map and let me just refresh it oh let me remove all the other consoles so that it is easy now you can see all are getting merged here so this is how you do the spread operate use the separate uh, spread operator to update a value in an array to merge the arrays you can do this now the second thing which we will be doing is uh, a very common one which you will be using filtering now why we will be using filtering so let's assume you have a project of e-commerce you got an array with number of bunch of um, data in it and you need to filter something out so let's make it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make an array with the name of cart items let's say cart items and it has bunch of items in it it has price 10 and name is bread let me copy paste same few more times yeah and let me change it to 20 butter is expensive for us and let me make it something cheap five for like i don't know jam and let me make 125 for fruits just assume just uh, yeah this is just a mock data now what i want to do is i want to filter this array and in this filtering what i want to do is it should return me any item which is greater than or less than we will basically we are gonna do the filtration on price if the price is greater than 10 then it should return me that item otherwise it's fine so let's come here const filter cart items again a method i am creating and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this array again it is gonna return me uh, it is gonna return you uh, all the items so cart items dot filter now what it is gonna take it will go on each and every item so basically it will go on this item this item so this function is gonna method is gonna call on every item and once we have this uh, happening what we want to do because we are using object so we want item price greater than 10 now i will repeat again what we are doing is we are using filter on our array it will go on each and every item if you are thinking why we are using dot price it's because this is the item and i want to access this price this is about object which we will do in next video so we are doing this condition thing here this is basically our condition that how the filtration should happen and whatever it will return us it will return here that's why i'm putting return here if you are not gonna do this it will not you will not able to get the uh, uh, see the output now we have the filter one but how we can use it now okay so now this is a very interesting thing what you will be tempted to do is you will be tempted to this is filtered items and you will just call this here you will be very tempted to do this and you will see you will get an error now why this error is coming the reason is because this is this is returning you an array 
So if I will just delete this and I will just console this, let's come here, let's see if we can see, yep. So if you will see, this is an array coming and you cannot print array like this. How we can do it? I already told you now you have an array. You want to loop over that. You want to map over that. So we are going to use map here. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create Oh, where is my filtration? Sorry. Here. So let me remove this. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create a method create filter card items. And what we are going to do, we know it is going to return us a new array. And this is the method. So we have to call this and then we will use map. We know item will come and index will come and then we will return our JSX. And here we will put our key, which is index. And now here we will put item dot name because this is an object that's why i'm using dot uh, here to access the value now let's come here and i will say filter items and my ul and i can just simply call it here let's go back let me remove let me do the full and you can see butter and fruit let's see the price of butter and fruit yes it was greater than 10. So you can see this is coming. So this is how you do the filter method uh, in React.js. I want to highlight one thing. I'm showing you all these concepts in React.js code so that you can understand where you can use it. But if you will see the syntax will remain the same. This is how you are going to use the map. This is how you are going to use the filter. No change in that. When we are doing return here, I'm saying JSX. If you are gonna do it in HTML view or some some um, angular, not angular, yeah, but it would be different. Uh, the syntax could be different here. They call it, they might call it something else. So in HTML, you will be putting an HTML tag here. View would be having their own. So in short, everything will remain the same, okay? So now filtration is done. Now let's move to the last topic, which is reduce method. Now what reduce method does is, so now you have the cart items. Now you want to calculate the total value of this card. That what would be the total of all the items. So for that, we can simply use our reduce method. So for that, we will do const get card total. And again return. Again, we will take our uh, cart items array. We will use reduce on this. Now what reduce has? It has total and next item. Okay. Now what is total? It start with basically uh, what it do, does it? It will take an item, do the total, keep it here and then it will keep doing that. So what we will do is total plus item dot price zero. We are starting with zero. I did some mistake somewhere. Yeah, I did this mistake. I list Mr bracket and here yeah perfect so this is done now let's do h2 car total is let's call it you can see 60 let's see if it is 60 or not 20 30 30 35 and you have then 35 plus 25 yeah 60 so this is how you use reduce. So just to summarize what we have learned, we have learned that array is crucial for making your dynamic UI in React. Yes, it's very important as I show you a few examples. The first one which we learned was map. Map is important to create list, uh, go over each and every item of uh, array. It always return you a new array. Then we learn about immutability. Basically in React yes, you never update the same array. What you do is you will keep the old one and when you want to update or manipulate, you do it on the new array. So for that, we were using spread operator. We can also merge two arrays together by using spread operator. Then we learned about filter method. 
filter method is very important where you want to quickly do the filtration on some condition like uh, checking with numbers, booleans, string or anything. So it will again do the same thing. It will go on each and every item in your array and look for the items which are meet meeting that condition and it will return you that and it will return you a new array. So this will return you a new array. Map will return you in a new array. Then we learn about once you have this array, you cannot print on the page because it's an array. So you have to use map over that. Again, we already learn about map. The last one was the reduce. This is an awesome one because when you want to do calculations like the example I gave you about cart in that what you need to do is you need you can just use reduce method and it will return you the total of all the items. So this, these are the few important array concept methods which you should know and be comfortable to be a master in ReactJS. I hope this video was helpful for you. Again, the same request. If you like it, please share on your LinkedIn, your social media, in your workplace, in your college, school, from wherever you are, wherever you in you are in your career stage. Also, if you like it or if you have some suggestion, do let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for your support. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.